Hi, I'm Joseph Patrick, co-founder of Lamont Brothers, and I want to give you an overview of how Lamont Brothers is addressing the COVID-19 epidemic through the entire design and construction process. Throughout everything, we're following the CDC's recommendations and the new OSHA safety rule about uh, viruses. And so that was released, I think, mid-November. And so the way these things actually play out is we've increased cleaning in the showroom, we've decreased design meetings, we've decreased the number of people at design meetings, people are wearing masks, and as many meetings as we can, we're doing virtually, even though some meetings we have to do uh, where you can touch and feel physical samples. Most of the time, uh, we can move meetings virtually. Then as we move into the construction process, this is where we're in your home. And so the virus is a very real risk that we need to talk and mitigate, talk about and mitigate. And the way that looks is we create a job site specific COVID-19 mitigation plan for each job site. And this is because our job sites look very different from one another. One job site, we might be building an ADU completely outside of your home. Another job site, we might be doing an addition onto the side of your home that's connected. Another job site, we might be doing a master bathroom remodel way up inside the home and you wanna stay in the home while we're doing that remodel. And so those job sites COVID plans look pretty different. Uh, for the additions, we're really separating the space off. And so there's the remodel area that we're allowed to go in and the home that we're not allowed to go in and vice versa. You don't come into the remodel area, it's very separate. For the, the master bathroom type projects, it's similar where we've got a very clear remodel space where we're in, very clear living space where you're in, and then we've got to get in and out of the building and so we have very clear access points and very clean, clear cleaning procedures that happen every single day to ensure that you're protected while we're there working in your home. So what happens to my project if someone working either on the design team or the construction team ends up getting COVID? This is something we've talked about and are prepared for. Essentially, what's going to happen is you're going to be notified first thing. Even if you haven't been in direct contact with them, you're going to be notified as you're aware of what's going on. Then we're going to mobilize other resources to try to continue work on your project, either in design or in construction. If somebody in design gets it and they can quarantine at home and continue to work from home, like all of us are currently doing, then your project is likely going to move on just on the exact same schedule that was written in the beginning. If it's in the production side, the project may slow down a little bit. There may be a few days where nobody's working there. If for some reason we have to uh, change scheme and mobilize different resources, but our goal is going to be, if at all possible, to keep that project on schedule to try to wrap your project up and give you back your home as soon as possible. If you have questions about the design process, about the construction process, we've included a couple other videos here on this page for you to check out and see what some of those plans look like in person. And then I'm happy to answer questions personally, or you can talk to your design consultant or your project manager by reaching out to them. Thank you very much.